Hey guys, up Sander. We're gonna make a quick little, I don't know, vlog here, update video, progress video, whatever you guys want to call it, commentary video. I was up last night. Happy April Fool's Day, everyone. Um, I was up last night and they updated this. It's kind of, I thought this was pretty funny actually. Um, on the front page it says, "You guys asked for it. We're releasing uh, Easter eggs and party hats, and you can come here and you can't grab them. You also can't uh, tally grab them." Be interesting to see if some guy manages to like glitch getting them. I don't know why they only use the green party yet, as far as I know. I I, I went to Artie, Falador, Varak. It only seems to be a green party yet running around. But um, the reason why this was so funny is because in RuneScape Classic, when they released these, um, other than party yet for Christmas crackers, they were just random drops around the ground. You could just find them appearing on the ground, from what I understand. I didn't play uh, back when RuneScape Classic was the RuneScape. I played shortly after RuneScape 2 came out. Um, but, uh, 34. I, you know, I thought that was funny. Not a big deal, and, uh, it's probably good that they did that instead of saying, like, oh, we're bringing GE back to 07 because a lot of people would have canceled their membership before they even realized that it was a joke. Um, with this, you can pretty much tell it's, it's a joke right off the bat. Anyway, uh, so I've been getting sidetracked a lot with different things in this game, which is why I haven't gotten to actually 65 attack and strength, which is my goal for the Rune Defender, which will get me some attack and strength levels on the way, because you got to kill so many Cyclops. Right now I'm doing a uh, Jelly's task. I've actually gotten two Clue Scrolls during this Jelly's task so far. I have like a good 80 left or so. Um, so I go there, I do like a trip, because I can't do it all in one trip, even with lobsters. And, um, get a clue, and then I leave and do the clue. Um, oh, looks good for that, was cold. Um, but anyway, the point is, is that, as I mentioned in that clue scroll video, it's always, music in this place really isn't that good. Um, it's always worth it to go and do a clue scroll, even if you don't have the requirements. Um, so basically what happened, I got a clue skull from here, and it told me to go to the fishing guild after going to, into the willy like five times, and I was like 50 fishing and 47 range. It told me to go to the fishing guild, um, do like a raspberry emote, wear blue dehyde legs, and um, this shield, and also a, I think it was a rune pit, it was a rune warhammer. And I was only 50 fishing, and you need 68 to go into the guild. So I went to Shiloh Village, and I took the time, and I got 13 fishing levels. Um, I used an Admiral Pie. I also bought some Iron Knives and did range for 40, from 47 to 50 range. And I did the clue, and I got like 100k from it. Um, which you might say, that's a huge waste of time, Andrew. Why would you waste so much time on a clue when most people would just drop it and you know look for another one? But I figure um, for the Swan Song Quest... Of course, most of the time wasted on that clue. Not, not, I don't say wasted, but spent on that clue was getting fishing up. And for the Swan Song quest, I need 62 fishing anyway. So now I got that requirement done, and I got a free 100k from it. Also, I got a few 100k probably just from the trout and raw salmon, um, which I'll probably do cooking with. I'm not sure if I should just buy like lobsters and cook them, but... Um, I can probably get 65 cooking, which is what you need for a recipe for disaster, um, by cooking those trout and salmon. Um, I actually recorded a video like this two days ago when I was fishing, but I forgot to turn the microphone recording on. It was only recording the game audio, so I was pissed off and I like talked for 13 minutes and I didn't want to talk it, like dub it, and then not have it be as good. But as you see, I am 180 quest points. I'll scroll through the quests that I've done just quickly so people can see it, because um, a lot of people have asked me what quests, and I do intend to make a guide on what quests you should be doing. Not sure if I'll do that after I get the quest point cape, but it would make it look a little more, you know, reputable. Like, okay, here's a guy, he has all the quests done, I think he knows what he's talking about, as opposed to a guy. Um, not that I haven't done all of these quests before. In fact, most of them I've done twice, and I'm doing the third time, because I have um, my pure on back in like 2010 when I made it, I did a lot of the quests over again for that. But anyway, I'm gonna turn the music off, I really don't like the music in here. A lot of RuneScape again, it is decent music, but 
some places just boring. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm using the Dragon Battle Axe and I'm specking with it, which gives you, you don't actually hit anything, but it gives you a massive, like, super strength boost, and then you can drink an attack pot and you'll still be slightly over. And attack pots are pretty cheap, so I think it's worth doing. And uh, it takes a minute for your skill to go down one level, so you can use some DDS specs before my strength gets back to 64, which I like doing. Um, and I bought it for a good price. My friend sold it to me for 150k. I did the uh, Heroes Quest, which is a good one to do. Um, and I think it's a requirement for a recipe for disaster, which I'll talk about in a moment. But um, what you should do is you should do that quest, but don't buy the actual stuff from the shop. Um, it costs 200k from the shop, which is kind of a ripoff. Um, but it's I think it's the only source of them in the game. But people have been buying them recently for PKing. So, 180k is probably a good price for it. Um, so, as for Recipe for Disasters, you see I have Adamant Gloves, which are pretty good, but they're not nearly as good as Borrow's Gloves, which I'll be getting um, sometime soon. A lot of, a lot of um, PKers just go for Borrow's Gloves, and um, I've been watching some of Bodhi's videos. I have to give some respect to him, that a lot of peers don't, like Zerker peers, they, they kind of do things half-assed, and, you know, they'll get, like, a combat bracelet, or they'll get, you know, a, instead of using an anchor, they use a, a Darak Axe, but I can respect him for taking the time and doing those quests to actually get some good gear, um, such as the uh, Barrel Chest Anchor, which is essentially the most powerful weapon in the game. Um, Darak's Axe has, like, one more strength bonus, but it's, it's a lot slower. Um, the Battle Chest Anchor is a bit faster. It's the speed of a Battle Axe as opposed to a uh, 2H Sword. I can make a video on the weapon speeds if you guys want, um, but to give you a quick rundown, a Scimitar or Abyssal Whip is a speed of 6. A Long Sword or a Crossbow on Rapid is a speed of 5. A Battle Axe is a speed of 4, and a 2H Sword is a speed of 3. And then, like, Dark Bow and, like, o the Ogre Bow is, like, speed of 2 or 1 or something ridiculous like that. And Cannon has variable speeds. But that's a quick rundown. So, like, a whip is two times faster than a a, a Dragon 2H, basically. Um, so, Recipe for Disaster, I have most of it done, as you guys can tell, with the Adam and Gloves. But there are a couple things that I need to do um, in the first, such as Alk this, and I don't know why I can't high Alk this for some reason. Oh, what? The, oh, what? Brought my ma magic down. That was weird. Alright, so I'll just hold on to that for a minute. Yeah, I did a clue scroll last night, and I did a race with my friend Killers Space Four Five Five, and he was getting like the easiest clues, like go and just talk to some guy, and he'll give it to you. And it was a level three, and he did it in like ten minutes. And then I got a coordinate clue, and all the guide sites told me to go to the Wilderness Crater, um, which doesn't exist in this game. So I had to kind of like go around and dig around, and I still didn't find it. So I went to a uh, RuneScape help site that was like dated back to like 2007 and um, it still had the location it was like 1607 something like that and it was uh, it was like in the middle of where the wilderness crater is on modern runescape and in like runescape in 2008 um, of course which was bounty hunter for that time period can I, I can't alk yet this is annoying I tell you guys how good the dragon battle X is and then I can't actually alk anything um, but I got 55 magic as well. It's 53 right now, but um, 54, thank you. That was pretty helpful because high alchemy is just a big plus in Slayer. Um, a lot of things like the Steel 2H aren't worth going and taking the time to sell for like 500 coins, but they're good to alk, so you get a little bit of free magic ex magic XP, and you plus uh, you get the coins, of course. So the coin drops from Slayer combined with the Alks from Slayer add up quite a bit. If you guys are wondering why I'm wearing blue dehyde, this is jellies, and a lot of Slayer monsters in the game use magical based melee. Um, melee, I always call it melee, but um, which means that you can pray melee and not get hurt by them, but their attack is a magical based melee one, so you want to wear dehyde and have high magic defense. Um, I did the Elemental Workshop quest down here, which give you this and this. You can also make a Mind Shield, but I don't really have the time for that. Um, and these give 
not much, but good magic defense. So not really too useful, but for tests like these, they, they uh, come in handy. And there's not much else to replace them. You can get like a Sarah book maybe. Let's see, does this have eight? Yeah, okay, that is six magic defense. So a Sarah book would be like a little bit better here. But um, a Rune Defender would probably be even better. So um, One quest I did last night was uh, Olaf's quest we go down here which wasn't too bad I had to get from 45 to 50 wood cutting and from 35 to 40 fire making but again that it's worth that it's worth doing that because for the quest cape I need like 71 wood cutting and like 53 fire, fire making or something like that so uh, might as well do that now and get a nice nice reward for that that quest gives like 25k coins and it also gives 12k defense XP which is basically free level so I don't know a lot of I'll make the quest guide of course but if you guys want to know what quests you should be doing my recommendation is uh first of all do the waterfall quest and then okay I, I was like I don't remember bringing a cat here then I read oh this one's annoying he's sleeping in this one he I don't think he sleeps in the other one well he sleeps but you just talk to the servant uh, I hate this random. You know, the rolled randoms are fun, except, except when you get one like this. Alright, so I don't rem Usually you could just find out by looking at which way it's facing, but um, it looks like it was this one, and I'll bank on it. I actually failed a Freaky Forester random the other day, and I had to... Uh, it teleported me to the top of the uh, wizard's tower. And then I went and I did... Because I didn't feel like running back to... Uh, my slayer task. Okay, I not don't want to eat it. I don't think you even get the option to eat it in modern EOC escape. Um, as for people, just to talk about that briefly. As for people who play EOC, I am like people ask me, did you quit EOC? Um, I didn't quit EOC. I'm just primarily focusing my time on 07. You know, I really just prefer this game better. But I put a lot of time into my EOC account, which of course wasn't always in EOC. At, at a time it was even earlier than RuneScape 2007 so uh, did I get fishing XP for that? I don't know but you know I just prefer this game maybe I'll be doing some projects in EOC sometime so if you're an EOC fan you know I would certainly stick around and uh, watch out for those videos because they might be coming just in the meantime RS07 is kind of all the uh, rave right now so I'm working on this right now um, as I was saying, I did the branches of, not the branches of Darkmare, that, that's not out yet, Darkness of Hollowvale, which is a really long, long quest, if I could show you guys quickly, um, if you've ever wondered, like, if you go on the RuneScape map, if I can do this properly, oh god, hold on, kind of like if you're looking at the map and you see, like, okay, here's, you know, Barrows, Here's a canifest. If you ever wonder what this whole area is, that's pretty much the whole area for this quest. It's this large, like, ghetto that you're basically in, and they call it a ghetto. Um, and it's just a disaster of an area, but it's a pretty cool quest, and it gives a decent amount of XP for the reward, so I'd recommend you do it. It also gives another key, which I added to the steel key ring, which I have, and I always like filling that up just for me being a uh, completionist. So, I don't know, I thought that was cool. You also get that cool Vire Watch outfit, which maybe I'll show you guys sometime. But, I mean, the main way I do quests is I look up on quest experience rewards, and I look up a skill that I have to get up for other quests, and I do quests that give XP for that skill. Like, for Desert Treasure, you need, like, 50 thieving. So, what I did was I looked up quests that give thieving XP on quest experience rewards on RuneScape 2007 wiki, and I did all those. Like, the feud gives 15k thieving XP, and also an Addy skim, which is like a free 10k. So I did that, and then, you know, a lot of that's done. I'll still have to get a few more thieving levels, but it's, uh, not too far off now. As for, uh, Desert Treasure, a lot of people wondered why I haven't done that yet. Um, I figured there's no re really reason to do all these really difficult quests right away. Um, like, even the Waterfall quest, you should wait till you have some HP levels, which I did not and it could have saved me some time if I didn't have 10 HP doing that quest. 
Um, but some of my quest goals are like the Fremnic Isles for the Nezi Helm. I'll have to get defense up for that, which I'll quest some of that and uh, train the rest up. But as for now, I want to train attack and strength, and I keep forgetting to use my spec because I'm recording. It's really a skill to be able to talk and do... Can I just finish this guy off? It's kind of cool to use the uh, DBA for KOing, actually. It, as I said, it's quite a skill to be able to talk and play RuneScape at the same time and read German at the same time. I think this is a German world, to be fair, but like it's not in German, so I think you should know English as well. I mean, if you don't, I'm not going to you know, say fuck off, other than for the fact that it'd be nice to have more open worlds. But there's plenty of jellies here to go around, so there's also a safe spot, which I haven't tried. Maybe I should, but it's probably kind of annoying to lure them into that uh, like 200 times. A lot of people are going for 58 Slayer and just camping Cave Horrors. I don't think I'm going to bother with that. I'll probably get some Cave Horror tasks anyway. But um, a good way to train combat in this game, other than quests, is just to do Slayer. You know, if you, if you go and just do bandits or, uh, you know, monkeys or skeleton monkeys and get 99 in all the combat stats, it's kind of a waste of time because you're going to want to do Slayer sometime in the future anyway, and you'll be 99 already, and it'll just be a waste of combat XP. So it's good to just get all your 99 stats from Slayer, um, which I probably intend on doing. You know, maybe I'll get lazy and want to do a little more um, bandits or something, but in the meantime, Slayer's giving me some decent combat XP. You're not really seeing it here, because surprisingly, Jellies have decent defense. But um, once I have the Rune Defender, that'll speed up my <coughs> combat quite a bit because it gives, uh, I think it's 19 slash defense and 5 strength bonus, which is a hefty amount. Especially that, that uh, 19 slash bonus gives you a massive um, accuracy boost. It kind of turns a uh, dragon scimitar into kind of a whip. Um, and it turns a whip into like a, a super whip. And that's the reason why the whip is so good in this game, because you can combine it with a dragon, <coughs> with a rune defender, and it'll be great. So... I don't know, I had a lot to talk about in this video, and I got through quite a bit of it. Um, sorry I didn't have a good April Fool's thing planned for you guys. Um, I would have just really had to plan that well in advance to make it funny. I was thinking, like, making a video about why I should think, like, as a joke, saying, like, I think that they should release Dungeoneering and the Grand Exchange into 2007, because <clears throat> it would be, you know, it would be a lot better, and maybe they should even consider adding abilities and removing special attack bars, because the DDS is too overpowered, but... You know, I don't know how well that would have gone over. Especially because a lot of people don't watch to the end of the video, and they would just click away or leave a comment saying, like, fuck you on subscribing. And then I would reply, like, watch the end of the video, asshole. <clears throat> but, you know, maybe I'll have something planned like that for next year when no one remembers what's going on here. But in the meantime, um, keep on questing, guys. Keep on playing. But, of course, uh, you know, don't lose sight of your real life as well. It, this game can be quite addicting, and it could, you know, remember that whatever you get here, whatever accomplishments, whatever you lose, it's all within the confines of this low-resolution screen. You know, it's not going to affect your real life at all. Um, at least it really shouldn't. Or, I mean, it does in, in a way because you're wasting time. You could be, you know, studying or doing homework on this game, but, you know, you can keep up with that stuff and still play this game a lot, too. So uh, we'll end on a good note. Join Andrew AJT62 Friend Chat. Um, and like this video if you enjoyed. And also uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. And uh, keep slaying, keep questing. And uh, good luck uh, with any clue scrolls. You know, Good luck uh, with any monster drops, black mass. See you guys later. Have a good one.